Hi everybody, Gabby here with yet another battle of the day. We're back to battle spot today, uh, hoping to maybe break uh, maybe 1560 uh, with a couple more wins. We'll see how long the battle takes. I try to aim for these videos to be around 15 minutes, but depending on who we get paired up against, it might be a lot shorter, it might be a lot longer, who knows. So while we wait for a match pairing to show up, um, I have nothing to say. <laughs> and thankfully we get paired up with someone before that becomes even more awkward. Uh, looks like we are playing Ken, who is a 1437 rank, uh, running a rain team, it looks like. Uh, Mega Swampert, I think, is the play. Uh, Crobat could offer Tailwind support, it could have Taunt, um, probably has Brave Bird or some Poison move. Uh, definitely inner focus. Um, Politoed, Gumi, uh, Greninja, seem, and Amoongus all are pretty straightforward. Uh, really, this whole team is very straightforward. It's really just a question of how I want to deal with it. Um, so, I think speed is going to be the name of the game here. Uh, speed and Amoongus, honestly. Because <laughs> once I get rid of his Crobat, I mean... Things can Ice Beam or Ice Punch, but Amoongus can also kind of deal with that. I don't really want to bring Metagross. Yeah, maybe I should, because he does also have an Amoongus. Um, well, let's start off with the first part of this game, this plan, which is speed. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I don't want to leave. We're going to get speed this way. And then I guess I'll bring Amoongus and uh, I guess Metagross. Um... The reason why I decided not to bring Politoed is because I saw Politoed on Team Preview, and, like, it's not the end of the world if Ludicolo or Thunderous don't have rain. So, I'm just gonna roll with it, I think. Um, though, if he leads Crobat, that'll mean my Amoongus is slower, which will probably provoke a switch. But again, it's not really the worst thing she says as she gets paired up against a lead that really isn't the best. Politoed and Rain would have certainly been a lot more help here. Um, I mean, Greninja can obviously map block or attack. Um, I'm gonna go for Fake Out anyways onto it, and then... Uh, I really don't want that Crobat to attack this turn, but if he does map block... Um, yeah, why not? I'll, I'll get Paralysis on Crobat. Um, Crobat goes for Quick Guard, which will stop both my moves. Uh, was not expecting that at all. Um, that's not good. <laughs> uh, and Greninja goes for the Ice Beam. That I did expect. I was really hoping that um, we would not see Quick Guard, because I forgot that Crobat even got quick guard. Jeez. Okay, well, Thunderous is out. Uh, no surprise, that's a life orb Greninja. It's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, really, I think my best play here is to send in Metagross. Um, best play not really being the greatest, but, you know, we're going to work with what we got. Uh, let's just start doing as much damage as we can at this point. Um... Crobat isn't really a threat to Metagross, but it is to Amoongus. Or, not Amoongus, Ludicolo. Um, uh, that was not the turn I wanted. Um, he's not going to Ice Beam again. He's probably going to Dark Pulse my Metagross. So let's just... Uh, I don't like any of these options at all. You know what? I'm just going to Mega Evolve Protect. I'll deal with this next turn. Um, <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> so about when I said hitting, like, 1560 today, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Um, the good news is in best of three, I would know to expect that next time, but this is best of one. Corbett goes for Hypnosis, and we get a Brass Knot from Greninja. I feel like this cheese is making up for the cheese that happened last turn, but Grass Knot crits. Okay. <laughs> um, the good news is, is that Hypnosis has a 50% hit rate anyways, so I think it's safe to say I'm just going to attack this turn. Um, 
But I'm not going to use Zen Headbutt on the off chance he does have Dark Pulse, because then I wouldn't be able to do any damage whatsoever. Um, yeah, this is weird. This is, this is weird. Acrobat goes for Hypnosis again, hits it. Um, oh, man. <laughs> um, things are not looking good. <laughs> Greninja goes for Grass Knot again. Okay. Gets another... Is that another crit? No, it wasn't another crit. Does a surprising amount of damage, though. Um... Yeah, I mean, I know I get neutral against it, but still, like, I wouldn't think Ludicolo is that heavy, man. Um, this isn't the future or anything. Anyways, um, I do, however, kill the Crobat. <laughs> but another Grass Knot will kill, kill Ludicolo. Um, man, what the heck happened? On the off chance I wake up this turn, I want to sub, I want to do something. <laughs> Um, sending in Amoongus to try and just put stuff to sleep, maybe, to get some momentum back. Uh, Swampert is a Mega. Uh, again, can't really say I'm surprised at that one. Um, unlike everything else on this team. Uh, Swampert goes for Protect. Again, that's fine. That's free switch for me. Uh, Metagross decides to sleep in. Uh, <laughs> Greninja goes for the Ice Beam onto the Ludicolo slot. Our Metagross, Ludicol- Oh, man. What is this? Oh my god. Okay, well, this is- If I can wake up this turn and kill the Greninja, I think I could possibly turn it around, but I don't even know. And the Greninja protects. Of course it has protect. Of course this is a Greninja that's Ice Beam, Grass Knot, and protect. Why not? Um, actually, that's a pretty solid set. Um, I shouldn't really be dissing that. And Metagross still is asleep. That's turn three. And Swampert goes for the Earthquake. Um, I think it'll probably kill this Metagross. I don't think this Metagross is that... Nope. Okay. So I'm still alive here. Uh, Amoongus needs more HP. This is, this is freaking crazy, man. Um... Yeah, I... Oh my god. Um... If Amoongus gets more HP and I can kill Greninja this turn, then I could potentially put Swampert to sleep next turn. Um... But it would probably protect, because he seems to be making decent plays. It... I mean, he called the quick guard thing. So, um... Hmm... I forgot how much Greninja gives this team problems, honestly. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. It'd be nice if he, like... Um, I don't know. Metagross outspeeds the Greninja, now that it's Mega, gets the Ice- or gets the Iron Head. So at least Greninja's gone. Swamper goes for Waterfall onto the Metagross slot. I'm not surviving that. I'm not even going to pretend I'm going to survive that. But there's hope. It's a very small hope, but there's some hope. And Amoongus gets to come into this with more HP, so... Eh? And Politoed! Okay, so now everything has Swift Swim. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Okay. So here's the question. Um, Swamper... If I were Swampert here, I would protect. Um, I need more HP. I need more HP badly on that Ludicolo if I want to have a shot of doing anything. Um, so I'm going to do something a little bit unorthodox. Swampert earthquakes into everything on the field. And kills everything except... Oh, that's game. Oh my god, this was a terrible game. Wow, okay. So, you live and you learn. Note to self. Crowback gets quick guard. Um, and it'll destroy things. Along with Greninja. Oh god, this hurt this loss hurts, honestly. Um, well, uh, I gotta do one more. I really don't want to end on that terrible note. Um... 
<laughs> Sorry I keep making faces at the camera. I am not happy with that at all. And like, as much as I want to laugh it off and be like, Haha, Battle Spot Cheese! Ah, Battle Spot Cheese. And I was just like almost halfway to 1600. This is why I have such a hard freaking time, like, playing my way through the ladder. Because it's just cheese, 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 cheese. <laughs> okay, this looks this looks standard. Uh, <laughs> Charizard, Hydreigon, uh, Conkeldur, uh, Aegislash, Landorus, Zapdos. Um, Zapdos is probably the most unstandard thing on here, honestly. But I will take it, because I feel like I can at least play through this and have an idea of what's going on. Um... So, let's see, let's see, let's see, um... I gotta bring Politoed in the back, um... Because of that Charizard, it's the whole Weather War thing. Um, the other thing I could do is I could just go ahead and lead Politoed Ludicolo, prompt the sun, get Politoed out of there, um... Maybe with Scrafty or something? Uh... Because really, if I can keep Weather up, I have a good shot at winning this. And Thunderous does not really help me as much as I want it to. Um, I mean, I worry about bringing Scrafty with that Conkeldur. And really, like, I feel like I need to bring Metagross because of that Conkeldur, which is a little bit troubling because there's a lot of things on this team that Metagross doesn't like. And I really shouldn't bring polyto just because or better gross just because I see one thing that can be super effectively hit by it um yeah there are four things on this team that do not like metagross it is like screaming in my head that I should bring it anyways but I based off of what I'm seeing on screen I really don't think I should um Oh, this is going to be one of those matches that's just dirty. I can feel it. Um, oh. Alright, let's do this. Togewon. Togewon? I, I don't even know. Uh, he leads Aegislash from Kelder to my Ludicolo. Thunder is probably also saving that... Uh, the uh, Charizard, Charizard in the back. Um, still not exactly what I wanted to see. Um, yeah, like, ugh. um, okay. Well, we can we can start to do stuff about stuff. Um, we can prevent Aegislash from setting up any substitutes. We can prevent it from going back to Blade form. Um, if it's not Guts Conkeldur, we can potentially burn it. Uh, Conkeldur goes for knockoff onto Ludicolo. Bye bye, Assault Vest. I'm not really going to matter much here. Um, I'm assuming the Shadow Ball is going into my Thunderous. Um, if he doubled into the Ludicolo, that would be smart. And uh, he didn't. So Thunderous takes half, but it has Citrus Berry. Not the worst first turn, but not the best. Um, that being said, though, like, everything on the field is still an issue right now. Um, I gotta start setting up some hacks. If he keeps Age Slash in, I'll be surprised. Hopefully he doesn't send in Landorus, though. I don't know why he would. Um, Ludicolo kind of walls that a lot. Maybe Charizard? Zapdos. Okay, Zapdos can still be swaggered. We're good. We're good. Um, so yeah, Zapdos is gonna eat swagger um, for breakfast. Kelly probably has Ice Punch or something, honestly. Uh, I should have thought that through a little better. Um, don't know what item it has. It's probably a Salt Vest, judging by how much Skull's doing. And I do get the burn, though. That's really good. And it has Ice Punch. I think that burn might allow me to live. Except that doesn't, so never mind. <laughs> um, but still, that'll, that'll help me a lot. Um, just in terms of whittling it down HP-wise, slowly. Um... I'm gonna do something a little bit weird here. I'm gonna send in Politoed, um, knowing that Aegislash is probably gonna come in, and knowing that I'm gonna switch it out as pretty much as soon as I see the Charizard thing. Um, yeah. 
let's do this. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing because I feel like this is... I think I brought the wrong Pokemon. I really don't like how I'm facing this. Okay, Ice Beam crits. Zapdos reveals it has Citrus. I'm um, not really surprised. Uh, Hydro Pump does connect. That's good. That's good. And Conkeldor faints. So, okay. Scrafty can come in now and not be horrible. Oh, and I forgot. Zapdos is confused. So there's potential for... Yes! Alright, that might have just spared me a Tailwind, which would have been really bad. Um, and there's the Charizard. Cool. So, it's definitely going to Mega Evolve this turn. I see no reason for it not to. I'm going to get Politoed out of here. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> Is how I feel about that, essentially. Um, maybe he just protected? But that would just give me another turn of Swift Swim, which would be fine. Um, I'm not really attached to keeping Rain up at this point, considering that I'm just going to send Politoed back in for that Scrafty slot, provided it's not dead after this turn. Um, which it might be, depending on what he did. Hopefully Solar Beam. Um, Ice Beam connects with Zapdos, is going to leave it in the red. Um, Charizard does go for the Solar Beam, which Scrafty should be okay with. Not that it's gonna eat that for breakfast, but it's not gonna do more than half. Less than- more than half. It does less than half. And Zapdos hits itself in the face again, which is really helpful for me. Um... Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that Zapdos, and let's get the rain back up in here. Um... He doesn't switch Charizard out, which is interesting. Um, I'm really surprised because I felt like my play here was a little bit obvious. Um, Charizard goes for Protect. Very interesting. Maybe they thought I was going to target the Charizard spot, but with that Zapdos still confused... Oh, this is not your day, man. <laughs> this, that Swagger is really saving me right now. Um, so yeah, Rain's locked in. Uh, at this point, it's just a matter of whittling everything down. Um, there's really not much he can do to stop me at this point, which is awesome. So yeah, Swagger saves lives. <laughs> or in this case, it saves me from like not having two embarrassing matches in a row. So that's good. Um, Ludicolo Scald will connect with Age Slash does... Uh, Hydro Pump connects with that Charizard, does hopefully more than eh. Yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I still don't know what happened in that first match. Uh, it's just Greninja leads, I think, really throw me off. Because when I see a Greninja lead on a team that doesn't look like it's a good team, I assume that it'll map block. Whereas in this case, what happened was the Crobat basically did the mat block, which is really a smart play when you think about it. I mean, it's most people, especially if you're in the low 1400s, are just going to go on autopilot, which is exactly what I did. Um, which is dangerous in a best of one environment. Like, but then at the same time, it's like, well, what do you bet on? Do you bet on the more common play? Or do you just, like, try and diversify your moves? I don't know. Um, maybe diversity is the key here. Because uh, then, like, statistically speaking, you're gonna connect with either an attack if it map blocks, or nothing if it... or fake out whatever if it doesn't. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like even if I could go back and play that, I don't know if I'd change my first move. I mean, okay, admittedly, maybe going for the Thunder Wave on Crobat right away was the bad idea, but most Crobat I see, I see them set up Tailwind. Um, in fact, I ran a Crobat on a, a Kofa Grigas team, which is absolutely horrid. Um, it went, like... 2-5 in a PC in Oregon this year. Like, it, it's a bad team. But I would just assume people would say, oh hey, fake out. I'm gonna fake out the Crobat, and then it's be like, surprise, I have Interfocus, Tailwind. 
You can't stop me, but now people just press the rock slide button and I silently cried. Anyways, um, those are your battles of today. If you like what you saw, um, please tell your friends, like and share this video. Follow me on Twitter if you have any feedback about my horrible plays, uh, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'm Gabby and these were your battles of the day. <laughs> Where's the stop record button? Bye! <laughs>